Okay, so um, still working on the L3. I got the uh, the exhaust baffle and the cover installed. I added an extra layer of high heat sealant Honda Bond. Um, so if you must know what that looks like, <clears throat> yep, this is what I trust. It's never never failed me. So now I'm about to install the uh, cylinder head. Um, but of course I have to get all these. Uh, residue gas itself. this specifically not to use razor blades but I don't see how else you get this crap off so I'm using razor blades you can do whatever you want I'm sure engine I'm not governing what you should and shouldn't do I'm just trying to get this old gasket off and the most efficient way here is I mean, you be careful you want to get any of the gaskets uh, I mean the old gasket in here because it will clog the uh, water table. So. Just, uh, push all these tools aside and flip this upside down. Oh, it's very heavy. You'll have the pistons installed. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm seeing right down here there is a piece of rubber stuck. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Come on. That looks like a piece of an impeller from the previous whatever, so I need to get that out. Alright, so I had this very expensive coat hanger that I paid, uh, I don't know, $350 for. So now we need to get this impeller out of out of sight here. <clears throat> okay, so I have this tube. You get this impeller out. That could have killed the engine right there. I'm going to throw trash. And I see another piece of gasket down here. So this engine would have died <laughs> due to the uh, blockage of the impellers that were stuck in here. So now, you know. I'm looking down the water jacket, there's no gaskets and or rubber impeller stuck in it, so that tells me that the impeller and lower unit needs to be replaced, which uh, goes goes without question. Okay, all right, so let's install this uh, cylinder head. Let me, let me get the gasket and let's get this ready to go. Okay, so this gasket actually has a sealant around here, which I was going to put some sealant to help seal it up. Okay. All right. Uh, cylinder head. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna do this. And again, you wanna cross hatch everything. Okay, so I took the uh, the clamp off this one, put it on this one, so I had something to clamp it to. Once I saw the lower plate, which needs to be installed first before hooking up the power head. So, uh, I'm going to do that now. I got the old gasket uh, cleaned off pretty well here. Everything's bolted up. <clears throat> Still the uh, gas with the high heat Honda. Which I trust very much and again This seems to be holding pretty well if it leaks again I'll just go back with the helicoils and put that in it But I don't want to undo any of these screws <laughs> to try to fix that because I'm afraid They might snap and you know, like I said before I'm lucky Through the exhaust baffle and everything like that only one bolt snapped and it's at the very top So, <clears throat> Alright, so I'm about to lift this power head up and install it right back onto this uh, exhaust plate and then hook everything back together okay so I got the power head up here <clears throat> I need to reconnect this uh, but the shift shaft needs to go in first and as you can see it's bent all right <clears throat> Let's try to straighten this thing out Oh, that was extremely easy, but whatever. <clears throat> Alright, so I got the new gasket. Okay. It's so different from the L6s, because the L6s, this, you know, everything drops. So I have to line everything up here, which as you can see, it's lined up there. Okay, so I have the uh, low exhaust plate. I got the brand new gasket on here. So what I'm gonna do is lift this up. <clears throat> I had to peel the gasket off the bottom of this, which in retrospect, I should have did that before I connected this. But it's too late for that now. So now I'm gonna connect this and then use this uh, transom clamp here to mount it onto the motor. And then I have to repair this lower unit, which is leaking oil around the prop. But uh, yeah, we're getting there guys. We are definitely getting there. Okay, is it just me or is this exhaust tube seem extremely long? Alright, so I got the L3 mounted, got the exhaust plate, all that crap on. Uh, it's a little bit crooked, but I do have to rebuild the uh, lower unit just because it's leaking fuel. But yeah, we're almost there, guys. I just kind of saw the, you know, the carbs and all that, get all the wiring correct, all, all that good stuff. But this is going to be a very strong engine by the time it's done. Okay, well, um, that concludes this video. Uh, a lot of hiccups, <laughs> a lot of hiccups, but um, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hey, happy budding.